He's a big guy too. He's a real big, that's a, that's a pretty, wow! The crickets are loud in the shop. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hey, yo, yo, yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, 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 I'm sure you can tell what we're doing. Solo dove hunt. I have been wanting to do this for a while. I was actually wanting to do a solo pigeon hunt pretty badly, but I never made it happen. Today, I'm gonna take a mojo. I actually need to go by the quick shop and get batteries for my mojo because they are dead. And then, yeah, we're gonna go to the field by ourselves. I'm gonna strap the GoPro on my head and we're gonna see how many Bobby can shoot. See if I can limit out today or what. But check it out, the American flag patch hat is back. And let me tell you, it is sweet. There is extremely limited quantities available. We've had this one time, we just brought it back because we got some more in stock. So if you guys want it, you better go hurry and pick it up. So I'm gonna cut the intro short, let's get on the road. Oh yeah, you know how it goes, the morning ritual. Oh yeah. Oh well, we are at the field. Beautiful morning as you can tell, good cloud cover but I got my backpack on with all my camera stuff and my shells. I got my bucket with my mojo in it, my mojo pole, and my gun. A lot of you ask, what all do you need to take dove hunting? Well, that's it. Make sure you always have a bucket. Bucket is proper. But we literally have over a half a mile walk. I got you guys on the GoPro. We're running late, let's go. Oh, okay, well, we are on the GoPro here. We're walking, as you can tell, it's extremely muddy. We have had a ton of rain which i'm sure a lot of you have too tons of rain which we needed it it's gonna fill up a lot of good duck ponds if you guys like these solo dove hunts solo hunts at all you need to drop me a big old thumbs up right now and let me know because if you guys like these i'm going to continue to do them quite a bit finally sat down tried to tuck back in the weeds as good as i could oh yeah look at this four coming right at us That was loud. Oh man, I dusted the butt off that guy. Well, first one down. Holy smokes. Yeah, a group of four, man, that was nice. They came in, they're roosting in these trees around here. Yep, there he is. Not too bad, looks like the breast didn't get too nailed. Just the side of him. Woo, so first bird down. Come on, come on, here we go, here we go. Two doing it. Got one, darn it. Man, they got in here tight. Dropped one. Man, they came in nice. Oh, two more, two more, two more. Oh, see if they come back around. Come on, oh, they're starting to fly, boys. They are starting to fly. Gee, many Christmas, they come in groups of three to five, and that'd be, that's a little hard by yourself, picking a bird when they're getting in here all quick on the decoy, but boy, howdy, that was fun. All right, brought some shells, threw them in my pocket. Gonna go pick up my down dove over here. They're roosting in these trees and in those far trees over there a lot. So I brought my gun just in case. Spook one out. Old dude should be right here. Where you at, guy? Where you at? It was a pretty far shot, not gonna lie. Walked right past you, man. There he is. Nice. You know, I really wanna shoot a banded dove. He's a pretty guy, look at him. Really want to shoot a banded dove. I think that would just be pretty darn sweet. You guys know I've shot, what, two or three banded pigeons now this summer, and I've been seeing people shoot these dove with metal leg bands on them. I think that would be so cool. Here's this guy, here's one, there we go. Missed. Good shot, Bob, good shot. Well, we got a single on the ground out here, boys. I'm gonna go try to get him. Oh, really? The shooting is not the best today. Gonna, gonna be honest about that one. I had seen dove here the last time I pigeon hunted it, and uh, like I said, there's just not a big, big population of dove here. Barely enough for me to shoot at, to be honest. Well, just got word from my farmer buddy Andy. Shout out to Andy for hooking it up. He's got a cut corn field, and he said, hey man, go out there and try it. I don't mind. We are gonna load up really fast. Uh, we got a, we got a lot of morning left. It's only about nine o'clock, so we're still gonna we're still gonna send it. Gonna try to make 
this hunt a little better. I want to down a few more birds so me and the family can have a good little dove, bacon wrapped dove bite to eat this evening. Well, this is a random cornfield. Uh, have, I have not done any scouting uh, on this field. I don't know if there's any doves even on it. It's late in the morning. We're gonna give her a whack, try to whack some dove. It's a lot later in the morning than I'd like it to be. We might have to continue this video in the morning. There we go, single. There he is, long shot. Woo! It has been forever since I've downed a bird. He down right there. Nice. He just literally got off that power line, came over here, actually popped a squat probably 10 yards past the uh, 10 yards past the mojo. I missed, and then he got up and I plucked him down right there. So three down. It has been a long morning. Got a little water drainage coming out of uh, the cornfield right here, and I just think it's money. This guy was sitting on them power lines forever. Oh, well, we have shot three birds. I have shot. There's no we because this is a solo hunt after all. I shot three birds today, switched up fields one time, and like I said, I got to this field late, as you guys could tell. It was probably every bit of 9.45 when I got to this cornfield, so it was just done. Shot one since we've been here, but haven't seen a dove one since that. So we're going to drop the video here. We're going to pick it up this evening. I'm going to get back out and see if we can whack some more. Oh, yo, welcome back. Yep, it's been about mm, five hours since I left the field last. Same day, just the evening. So this is just the afternoon. I think it's right at four o'clock. And new field, it's only about a mile away from the last field we were at, that cornfield. But it's a lot better, I think. They just bailed it, so there's a ton of new bales on this field. So we're, that's where we're gonna sit. We're gonna sit in the back of a shadow of a hay bale. There are birds stacked up around this field on all the power lines. And let me just tell you, we ought to do decent because we actually have birds now. This morning, I didn't do my scouting. Now, I did my scouting. So we're gonna be able to see the difference from this morning where I just went out on a whim and was like, yep, we'll just go there because I know I have permission. So I scouted for about an hour and they got permission on this field. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I always gotta get in shape. So, like I said, we're gonna see the difference between scouting and not scouting. So I found a little bit of water. Got the mojo out there. Another 25, 30 yards this time. It's a little farther. But I think this water, this little bit of drink here might do the trick. All right, first bird of the day. Of the evening, I should say. Here we go. There we go. Dusty McAllen, his butt. Nice, first bird down of the afternoon. I've been sitting here forever, it feels like. Well, let's go find our bird. Make sure there ain't a band on it or something. <laughs> hey, little fella. No band on that guy. First bird of the afternoon, though. That puts me up to four for the day, 11 birds to go. Man, they're getting it. This We got about a 15 mile an hour wind. It's getting frustrating. They are sailing with this wind. And I mean, they're just, they're cooking, man. Oh, they're coming from this side. Let me try to bust them as they come over. There we go. There's one just floating in here, nice and easy. Oh yeah. He did. Good shot, Bob. Good shot. That's how they should come in, right there. I didn't even give him a chance to get to the mojo. He was really just floating over the weeds, taking his time. Low, extremely low. He's a big guy too. He's a real big, that's a, that's a pretty, wow! He just came back to life on us. Look at the pretty collar on that guy. Eurasian collared right there. He is a big boy. Those, those collared doves are a lot, lot bigger than the morning dove. That's a pretty bird. Very pretty bird. What I'm doing, I see him coming from the south, bucking this wind. I stand up behind this hay bale. Oh, he's gonna land out there. Darn it, he just landed. But I stand behind this hay bale. I can shoot standing up a lot better, as most of you probably can, so. There we go. Down. Nice. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go.
Oh, got them both, yeah! Well, I only got one of them. The other one, I must have blew his butt off. He kept flying. It's a really good shot, though, on him. I thought he was done. Well, there we go. That last one, I blew the butt off of him, but he didn't go down like I said. Darn it. Well, I figured I'd give you a little midday update. I am at, I got four birds. I got four birds on the ground, so that gives me three this morning. So that gives me seven birds today total. I already cleaned this, the three from this morning. You know, I wanted to get them clean. Don't want to leave them not clean for a while. Here comes another one. Oh, had one just laying on the mojo. Get up, buddy. Get up, buddy. I'm gonna have to Arkansas you. Yep, done deal, I had to Arkansas him. He did. I was scared to shoot him over this grass, but gotta get to him right away. You don't lose your mark on him, there he is. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Woo, that was sweet. Another one. There we go. He's dead. Get to him before I lose my mark on him again. There he is. We are at 10 birds for the day. Three this morning, seven right now. So we got seven right here. So five more. To limit out and we'll be good to go this is this is turning into being quite a bit of fun by yourself this solo hunting it's so much fun check it out check it out ducks checking out the mojo i'm telling you what the solo hunting guys if you ever want to be up for a challenge i challenge any of you guys to go out there and uh, try to get your limited dove. The better, the more you scout, like you've seen today, the better, better chances you got. Get out there, try to shoot your limit. It's fun. Dove hunting, getting tuned up for the waterfowl season, boys. Oh, one just landed. He did. Where are you at, dude? Where are you at? I marked you. Where are you at? There he is, shooting dove over a little water hole. I'm telling you what, it's like magic. Oh, these double's gonna do it. Look at this. Woo! Finally, goodness, that was a difficult task to get him down. They are flying right. Single. He did. Well, I can shoot one more. This might be him right here. Come on, buddy. Oh. He did. Well, that will be it. We are limited out, boys. Woo! That's awesome. Goodness gracious. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it today. I really didn't, but we are limited out. Challenge is Dunsky. Woo! Woo, your boy's sweating his buns off. Let me tell you what. Holy cow, that was an amazing solo hunt. Amazing day. This morning I shot three, so I already took those home, cleaned them up. They're in the fridge, sitting in salt water. But then, this evening we came out and we shot the rest of our limit. So, yes, there's not 15 here, but guess what? There's 12. So, three this morning, 12 this evening. That's my limit, boys. I honestly was very doubtful when I first got out here that I was gonna limit out. Um, it took them forever to start flying. I mean, I said I got out here at probably, I don't know, 4, 4.30, and they didn't start flying until probably 5.30, 5.45. It was, pro I probably shot most of my birds in about 45 minutes. That's what happens when you scout. But again, Duck's Freedom Patch Hat is still available, so, a lot of you were wondering when we're gonna get them back. They are back on the site. Go grab one, I'll link them down in the description below. As well as barrel stickers. We have a bunch of new barrel stickers on hand and we are back stocked up with all of our decals in general. All the olive t-shirts, all the olive hats that I wear when I dove hunt. So if you guys wanna pick any of it up, I will link it in the description below. Go check it all out. The site is loaded with brand new merchandise. But I really wanna thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this dove solo hunt, 
give me a big old thumbs up and let me know down in the comments because I want to do more of them. If you guys like them enough, I will crank out the Dove solo hunts. Be sure to hit that notification bell down there so you get notified when I upload and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.